I've been a risk taker all my life. By a show of hands, how many people like risk? How many people love risk? Wow, I am really surprised. How many of you, with the other show of hands, hate risk, are mortified by the idea? All right. It's usually one or two ways. And in leadership, I believe leaders have to be people of risk. Entrepreneurs, we are risk takers by nature, and people don't understand us because we are nuts. We dream big dreams. We try to help people understand those dreams, and we invite them into our dreams to step off and go do an amazing, crazy ride. Right, Justin? <laughs> I planted a church in Minnesota. I planted a church for college young adults and ex-con recovering addicts. Yeah, it was extremely cool. And people told me, what in the world are you doing? People don't plant churches like that. You're not going to make any money. No one's going to show up. This is going to be a bunch of freaks and tattoos. And I said, yeah, bring them on. <laughs> Those are my people, even though I have no tats, by the way, none. And for 10 years, our church flourished and grew. An amazing thing happened. But the first thing I had to do was take the biggest step of life. And like Justin, I had to quit a high-paying job to go off and plant a church with no guarantee of anything happening behind it. So as I start today, I want to ask you one question. What's the biggest, most recent risk you've taken in your life? Just think about that for a second. Jot it down. What's the biggest, most recent risk? I'm not talking about before, because I just did another one that I'm going to tell you about in a little while. Risk is an ongoing thing for leaders and entrepreneurs. At the end, I'm going to invite you to come up. i got a booth up there. i got some things for you. But I have given away risk cards. I have given away thousands of these, and they're the four simple principles I'm going to share with you here today. And carry these in your wallet. Remind them. Reproduce it. I have no copyright permission to this. Take it. Burn it. Do anything you want with it. This is your to use. But it really helps people understand there are good risks to take in leadership, and there are bad risks. And we usually spend more time talking about the bad risk of leadership. I was talking to someone before, and we were talking about the bad ones. The bad ones are the financial one that blows up in your face. The bad ones are that move that you never should have taken your company into. The bad ones are that you expanded way too fast and you found out I'm way overextended. There's a lot of bad leadership moves that we make, but have we ever thought about the good ones? There are good ones to make, and I think they radically change the culture and the DNA of your entire organization. And you as a leader, you have to set this up. No one else is going to set this for you. You need to set the stage and let this be how you do business, life, family, career. The first one is going to be kind of weird. It's going to be care more than you think reasonable. Care more than you think reasonable. People quit jobs today not because it's bad pay. People quit jobs today not because it's too many hours. People quit jobs today not because it's too hard. No, they quit jobs because their boss is an idiot. Number one reason people leave job is they are not happy with the boss, the manager, the communication, which I coach communication. I've been a broadcaster for 25 years. I spend more time with a microphone than anything else. Leaders, if we do not communicate well, people will not follow us. They will not grab a hold of our vision. They will not be good employees. I don't care what you do to wrap that up. But if you do not care for your people, they're going to check out and they're going to be gone. I just read about a company that just recently is going to be launching extended parental vacations when new babies are born. Male and female. They care more than necessary. They don't have to do it by law. They don't have to do it by the habit of everyone else's way of doing things, but they just decided this is right. 